what I will say though, it's it's hard for me as a a booking type person to to hear demos from the same person that are all over the place. Like sometimes I like, yeah, I like that you're talented in many different regards, but there's also like I get this kind of signal in my head. Are you like that because you're still finding your way as an artist and haven't really got to that point? So when some art, like some you know potential DJ, say like I can play whatever you want, I'm like, uh, I actually want you to play what you want. Like yeah. this party's about you, not about what I want. You know, I'm I'm here to showcase you. So um, it makes it it kind of makes it easier for me when like I kind of know where you're headed, and it's like, oh, you're you know you're gonna be the next disciple dude or whatever. Um, so I don't think that's true of every booker or every kind of you know uh, party, but I think for us it's like. We're here to get behind artists, and when they are serious about becoming an artist. And granted, there are those few exceptions where, you know, it's one of those artists that just produces everything. But I think it's pretty rare that you know, right around now. But those people who produce everything who we book are usually further along and have like established right. things going on. So like Nitty Gritty, for example. I mean, he's all over the place, but he's but he's popping, you know, and all the music he makes is great. So, um, so yeah, I agree with Henry on that. <laughs> 